The first reactions to director Jordan Peele's super-secret new project, Nope, have arrived online, even though it's still unclear what the film is actually about. The trailers have purposely stayed vague, teasing a plot that may or may not involve an alien abduction. But since this is Peele, even the most basic ideas have layers of socio-political subtext. Welcome back to Spotlight Moments, where you can catch all the reviews and previews of the hottest movies. While we're here, make sure to click that subscribe button and ding the notification bell so you never miss a video. Peele, who has emerged as one of the most successful directors in the horror genre in recent times, said that the inspiration for the film was his desire to explore humanity, combined with the feeling of existential helplessness. I targeted this idea of spectacle to bring people out to the theaters and help invigorate their love for the cinematic experience. Peele hinted as much at the film's premiere recently when he told Variety, We tried to make a big summer blockbuster that you can enjoy whatever you want. You just go in and just smoke a big blunt and talk with a friend about societal issues. You can do that. If you want to come and just relax and get away from it all and see Keiki Palmer in the midst of a UFO, then that's what we got for you. Those who've seen the film have wisely kept the details to themselves. But the verdict appears to be unanimous. Peel has another winner on his hands. Nope is out of this world. A monster mash with great performances, especially Kaluuya and a 50 sci-fi invasion motif. A spectacle about the horrors of spectacles. Jordan Peele has been compared to Hitchcock, but Nope shows he's a next-gen carpenter. Enjoy the show and don't look up, CNN's Frank Pallotta tweeted. Collider's Steve Weintraub gave the film a big thumbs up and recommended that viewers watch it on IMAX. Nope has been shot in the IMAX format by Christopher Nolan's regular cinematographer Hoyt Van Hoytema, who has to his credit Interstellar, Dunkirk and Tenet, as well as the James Bond film Spectre and Spike Jonze's Her. Yahoo's Kevin Palawi tweeted, The most important thing you need to know about Nope is it's crazy different from Get Out and Us. This is Jordan Peele spreading his wings and making big-budget Spielberg-esque sci-fi, but with the subtext you'd expect. Enter with an open mind and you'll be rewarded. Fandango's Eric Davis tweeted, Jordan Peele's Nope is one of the best films I've watched this year. It's frightening and ferocious, but also very funny and unlike any UFO movie you've ever seen. It's a wholly unique and very entertaining horror epic full of wild surprises and an unforgettable Kiki Palmer performance. Not everyone was happy with the film, though. Hollywood Critics Association member Scott Menzel tweeted, Nope is Jordan Peele's most ambitious film, but also his weakest. The first act is superb, but by the second, it loses its footing and becomes a bad M. Night Shyamalan movie with Spielbergian elements. It lacks a sense of focus with a story that is never fully realized. That's going to do it for us here at Spotlight Moments today. Let us know what your current favorite movies are, and we might just do a review on them. Until next time, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video.